we have to teach we have to teach different vocal teaching. We have to, you know, we have to be sensitive to how so many people produce their authentic voice. And then to become someone else, how do they become someone else in a way that is authentic to them? That's a whole important lesson of vocal instruction and movement. Um, and so that's why I joy in watching somebody tell their story in a way that's authentic, because I think we were, we are a colonial culture. We colonized other people. We colonized other cultures. And maybe I'm saying in a way I colonized, I allowed myself to be colonized in a That's way That's your dad. Too. Yeah, yeah. That's your dad. Yeah. I was going so, to say, because you, you always did the British plays really well. Yeah. Because you just, you understood the kind of key signature yeah. in your skin. Yeah. Uh, which is I why did white privilege I really here. well. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah. were just perfect in it yeah. because you go, Bing, and the light yeah. comes through, and I get it. Yeah. Whereas, you know, we don't, well, people like me, I don't quite get it. I try to do it, but I don't quite get it. So, there you are, having all the eras you've lived through. You know, there's the, you know, Stratford, you know, well, we want you sort of mid Atlantic, and then the directors come along and say, well, I don't want you actually mid Atlantic, I want you here. And are we British, or are we Americans, oh. or are we Canadians, and who yeah. are Canadians? And uh. All that kind of journey that we've been going through yeah. and you have this British part to you yeah. that's kind of tracked that as you try to become and become all those other things. Well it's interesting because there's a gal in our cast whose heritage is Nigerian and uh, I, I thought would me telling her that I spent my early childhood in colonial Nigeria would that be painful for her? And so uh, another uh, colleague who's also of color when I mentioned it to her, and she, and she said, why haven't you told her? And I said, well, I'm waiting for the right time. And then you go, well, am I waiting it by doing that? Like, you know, waiting it by waiting? And then I just started chatting with her one day, and I said, and she could have, you know, cared less. And, <laughs> and, and uh, we, we, we bonded because we both have a lot of anger when things don't go our way in the industry. and. Um, and we both have a lot of affection for each other. So, um, but, you know, we have to come at our truths differently now, right? But, and the bottom then, I put the question again, do we ever escape the version of ourselves that we grew up as? Do we ever escape our 12 year old? With all the 12 year old stories that came with it and the world that was created by those stories, do we ever, ever escape that? I don't think I ever really knew myself very well, and I think it's taken a lifetime of theater and Canadian theater to know myself. And I think other people knew things about me that some of which appall me, that I was confrontational or um, ever dismissive, or um, I won't indulge in regret because it's a regret and guilt are complete wastes of time. But I always feel like I am atoning. I always feel like. Um, I want, I just want to wake up every day and somehow address the little petty, just somehow address, if, if, if in any way, whatever delight I can bring or receive, and that's what theater does, but, but, um, but I want, I'm always wanting to change because I don't like a lot of who I was. I don't like the fact that um, I confronted when I could have just embraced. Um, I think I was my own worst enemy in so many ways. Um, and, uh, and now it's about um, just giving whatever knowledge is useful, admiring and helping and shepherding and, and, um, and learning. Nancy Park said to me, always be interested in young people's music, in what they're doing and what they're listening to. And um, I, I love the young people in this company so much, and we have so much fun, and they give me so much um, joy, and 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 they give me respect. So they do endow me in a way that I don't always feel I deserve, but it's a privilege, and it's a privilege I don't take lightly. I like you have to earn your privilege. So white privilege be damned, but whatever privilege you have by, by virtue of being old, you have to earn it. You're an elder. You're an elder, but 
but, but an elder of what? In as much as I was privileged, no. What did I do to earn it? And what can I impart that's helpful? Because not all of it is helpful.